The other stock which is in focus and which is under pressure today is Angel One. We have an update with respect to SEBI and uh, it's been a little bit of collateral damage when it comes to Angel One here. But Mika, what's going on here? Yes, Angel One is down 8.5% right now and it is the top lose on the Nifty small yeah. cap 250 right now. Now, volumes are over 9 times its 30 day average, total traded volumes of 42.82 lakhs, which is a total traded value of over 1,000 crores in the stock today. Now, it's hit an intraday low of 10.32%. And even when you talk about the year-to-date performance, the stock has been under great pressure. It's up, it's down 34%. Um, now, the latest um, news flow was regarding SEBI, which revised certain market intermediary charge mechanisms. What SEBI has done is it has barred volume-based fees to brokers. Now, it's and it has introduced new guidelines to ensure fair, free, uh, fair um, and transparent fee structures in the market and the new rules suggest that the market intermediate uh, infrastructure intermediaries like exchanges and depositories will receive exact amount of charges uh, charged by the brokers to the end clients now why the new guidelines so now market um, infra intermediaries like exchanges and depositories levi transaction charges and depository fees on brokers using a slab wise systems and brokers in turn charge these uh, charge their customers using a similar slab wise structure but the timing of the charges differs as brokers generally recover the charges from their end clients on a daily basis but the market intermediaries receive these um, charges on an aggregate basis on a monthly basis now what this does is the total collected char uh, collected charges by the brokers tend to be higher um, then the charges actually paid to the MIIs at the end of the month due to the slab benefit. And what and now what the new market um, regulations um, kind of do is they could have a hit on the discount brokers' revenues, and that's what Motilal Oswal believes. Now, now it is key to know that brokers do earn significant revenue share from these uh, charges up to their end clients. Uh, to, to note, Angel One, for example, their FI24 revenue from these charges was to the tune of 400 crores, which is a pretty significant number. But however, a certain, um, uh, what Motilal Oswal believes that the brokerages could impact the, um, limit this impact to a certain extent by Trying, uh, by charging higher brokerage rates, but in the end, when for the end client, which are the investors, the, this could be a negative for the end investors. So that's what we had on Angel One, um, Agam.